so welcome back to another video my fellow developers and in this video we are going to initialize our first state okay so right now we are just uh, hard coding our data and then we are just outputting that component uh, again and again so if we take a look at our to do list.js here we are just uh, outputting this to do component two times okay so we are not uh, putting any logic in it uh, and now we want to put a state so so that we can dynamically get uh, the text okay dynamically get the the title uh, of our to do so what you need to do is we need to create state inside of our app component and we are going to create a state in app and we are going to pass it in to do list and in from to do list we are going to pass it in the to do okay and in to do we are going to receive it and then we are going to put it here okay so the title so let's do it uh, we need to import as we are using a functional component we need to use a hook called use state okay so we are going to import it from react now if you haven't seen my video on state how to use state in class based components as well as functional based components so you can see that i'm going to put the link in the card and also in the description below so let's see so let's create uh, now our state will be an array of objects so let's uh, let me uh, show it practically so we have const to do's and then we can say set to do's we can set it equal to use state and here we are going to pass in an array of objects now the first item will be title and the title will be for example let's say play the second will be com uh, is completed is completed that will be false by default okay so basically this boolean value will determine that uh, if our to do is checked or not so is completed to false by default and one more that is uh, that we will need for now and then we will not need it afterwards is the id okay so the id will be let's say one let's add a comma <clears throat> so we will need an id for now we won't need it afterwards so let let's keep it for now we'll install a package afterwards that will basically create an id for us so this one object will be the uh, inside of this object will have the properties for one to do okay so if we create one more object so let's uh, duplicate this and let's add a comma here so this will have an id of two this will have for example play cricket uh, is completed we can set it to true so this will be for the second to do okay so let's save it so we have our state here we, uh, in, so this data is stored inside of this to do's and set to do's is basically to change our to do's okay so we can go here in, in to do's to do lists and we can pass in this as a prop so i can say to do's equals and then curly braces and to do's so what are we doing we are passing our to do's state in this to do list component with this uh, prop okay to do's so now we can go we can save this file we can go inside of to do list and here i can i can say props uh, and then i can say something like props dot to do's but instead i am going to use destructuring so basically we are going to take out the to do's from the props so I can just say to do's okay so we are just uh, taking out we are just picking up from the props itself so now we are just going to keep one let's remove the other one so to do okay and we are going to go in here and then we are going to yeah not do anything we want to map over this array okay so we just want to loop over this array as you can see this array and we will pick up one object and then we are going to pick up each property from that object and how do we do that well we do that with the map method in javascript if you know it's an high order array method it's very useful in react okay and very used so we can 
have a JavaScript expression here and then I can say to do's okay so we are just picking up to do's from here so I can say to do's dot map oops <laughs> maroon map and then for each to do an arrow function we run an arrow function and basically we are going to return <clears throat> so we'll return some JSX okay why are you doing uh, now we can do something like this but instead if I just use parentheses so basically it will be same as that curly braces and then return okay so we want to return a to do component for that so I can just put it in I can just save this file and what will you see is you will see two to do components okay okay let's see what's wrong okay it's refreshing so you see we get two to do components because in this array okay in this list or array we have two objects okay so if I just duplicate this object also save that what you will see is you will see three to do components okay so now you can see we have one two and three because it depends on this array now we are going to pick up this uh, data from this array yeah we will get an error if I just go to the inspector and if I just uh, make it larger so if I go to console you will see we'll get an we'll get a warning okay as as a as an error but what this says is each child in a list should have a unique key prop so what it means is you need to pass in a unique key for each of your uh, each of your to do right here because we are mapping over this array and that's why we we have put this id so let's make this id 3 and let's make this for example chess and let's make this false okay save this so uh, now we are going to pick up the data okay we get access to each to do but we are not using it so now i can say i can pass in a key prop key equals and then we can say to do to do dot id so we are taking that to do okay and then we are getting the id and then we have uh, now we want the to do okay so what we are going to do is we are going to pass in the the title that we have here we are going to pass in the title in here as a prop and then we are going to use it inside of our to do dot to do dot js so let's say to do uh, no we can say title equals we can say to do dot title okay so that will pick up the title from our to do and we also want uh, we don't want the completed right now is completed boolean we'll uh, take it afterwards so now if you see uh, that warning is gone okay we don't we don't get that warning uh, again okay so our app is started app has started and we don't have warning because we have a unique I a unique key for each of them now we uh, now we want this now we want to pick up the the title okay from this prop uh, so let's destructure it so I can just say title okay so now we have access to the title and the title is basically equal to to do dot title so I can just go here where I am outputting to do one and I can just say I can add curly braces and then I can say title that's it let's save this file and now you will see that our our app will have a different title for each to do so now you as you can see we have play we have play, play cricket and then we have play chess so what are we doing here let's go to app.js we are initializing the state okay we are creating these objects simply and we have a title for each and if we go to to do list let's move it here so inside of to do list we are uh, we are getting these to do's as a prop okay so we are passing it so we are getting this array we are mapping over through through this array and then we are returning a to do component for each item and we are getting access to each to do and we are passing the title a, a, a title prop um, as uh, to do dot title okay so that we can get access to the title prop here 
and then we can output it here that's what we are doing okay it's very very simple very very easy if you don't know that how objects work and how the map method works uh, you can yeah, you can learn that first okay it's very important because that's what we are going to use a lot and everyone uses that a lot okay in any react project so we are using map okay and then we are returning this so that's about initializing our state okay so that's uh, what we did to pass in the dynamic data uh, inside of here now if I create one more object in app.js so let's do that uh, I can just duplicate this I can if I have the ID same let's keep the ID same and if I say play not play just say code hello world okay save that and uh, what will you see is if we go back it will reload and it will give us this code hello world okay now these buttons won't work right now because we have to add functionality and then events to them okay and we can we cannot add it to do nothing is going to happen but just our page is going to refresh because of the form on submit and we get this warning because two children with the same key three okay so we have the key we have the id same here also and here also we can change it to four and that's fine now we, we won't get this warning okay it's important to keep a different key for each of your uh, elements so now i can close that out and as you can see we are getting each component as per our state now if you want to see your state you can just go ahead now i'm, I'm going to move this uh, in a separate window so that will be fine uh, and uh, you can just if you have installed the react extension uh, which is a chrome extension i told you in the first video so you can do that and you can just go on to components and here here there's all of the components you see okay and we have initialized our state in the app component so we can select app and you see we have our state here okay so the state we have the id we have the title we get is completed to false so we get everything we also uh, we can also see the props so we have passed the props inside of our to do list first of all so as you can see we passed in the props to do's so as you can see we have to uh, each of them to do each of the to do and we have passed in this to do so if i just show it to you if i just keep this here and keep this here so we, this to do has a key of one and uh, so this is the first to do and it has props the title okay it just has the title okay of play and I, we can pass in a new prop from here also to test so i can just minimize this you have the second to do here you have a different title for this one as we are passing a different title i can change it from here also so for example i can change change anything and then if i click anywhere it's gonna update but when we refresh our page it's gonna go back to default because that's what we are doing okay we are passing our state so this is to do with the key of one oops this is to do with the key of one this is to do with the key of two this is to do with the key of three and to do with the key of four and we are passing uh, our props okay in here code hello world so that's about our state let's close this out so that's about our state that we initialized inside of uh, here so right now we are just hard coding these objects later on we'll create an object whenever we submit this form okay so whenever we add it to do yeah i just forgot one thing let's go uh, inside of our to do form and i i added a comment here so that i can i can remember that what i have to do uh, when we copied and pasted this button component from the material ui's website we do not add this type submit so i just want to add this so let's copy it and let's paste it okay and let's get rid of this now save that because our button won't work then okay if we don't add our type of submit this button will not work when we click so if i for example comment this out if i save this and let's take a look let's go here and let it reload so if i add for example something like 
if I enter some random text and if I click this button, nothing is gonna happen as you can see. The page does not reload but if i press enter here the page will refresh so that's what we want to do in here so we want to add a type of submit so when we add this type of submit uh, and when we click this button the form gets submitted okay okay now if i say anything and then we i click the add button the page refreshes and now we understand that yeah the form is working okay the button the button is working so that's about this video guys hope you like it hope you share it with others and we are going to complete this to do app soon this will be very fun finally thanks for watching